Hi family, how are you? Hugs and kisses to you. It's me, Auntie Sam. Welcome to Celestial Tarot Readings. So let's do, I have no idea why I started the video like that, but there you go. <laughs> this Ood got me woozy. So let's do a reading on Stephen Twitch Boss, okay? I, I, I want to... To be honest with you, I don't want to even go into what happened to him once he was deleted because some very, very, uh, even can, can it even get any lower, but there are some lower energies attached to that. Um, And we, and we know, we've heard of, say for example, when Young Dolph, who is the rapper from Memphis, the rapper, businessman, entrepreneur, land owner. And you know, one of the subbies was saying to me, I know exactly which subby, but one of them was saying to me, making a direct link between and you see it came up today as well. Memphis is a very curious city because it's a city that's going through a lot of changes, right? And I did a reading this morning on Priscilla Presley and the allegation in regards to whether she actually wants to sell Graceland. And it was determined in the reading that she has indeed found a bunch of potential buyers, uh, interested parties. Of course, it came up in the reading. Interested, interested parties who want to purchase Graceland or make a massive investment in it maybe leaving her at the helm of it as the head of Graceland. Because dare I say it, it looked like Riley can't be bothered. And to be honest with you, who, who could really blame Riley after what she's been through? Immediately, that girl has, if you notice, Riley has worked non-stop. Now this reading is not really, really about the Presleys, but it's about, it's about the city of Memphis and young Dolph was killed. He was deleted. He owned lots of property in Memphis. Now who is that property in the hands of, right? Graceland is one of the biggest, Graceland and Jack Daniels and um, Bass Pro and what other big brands are there that really are Tennessee, right? Tennessee is Jack Daniels, Tennessee is Graceland, right? So Tennessee has global brands just in that little city, potentially billions of dollars. Yeah, hundreds of millions of dollars every year. Graceland, of course, is the land, is the property, is the hotels, is the whole resort thing, is the museums, is the restaurants, is, is all of that. And it seems as if Memphis is shaking hands with a lot of investors while moving certain people out the way. You see, when it comes down to it, would Lisa Marie, Lisa Marie Presley, if she was alive and the city of Memphis proposed something to her, would she go for it? Or would she be more interested in protecting the legacy, protecting her father's 
energy, protecting the ancestral energy, keeping it true to form. Whereas Priscilla, the ex-wife, who's only been in it for the check, almost one million every year. <laughs> Money over loyalty. Because she didn't have any loyalty, she was divorced from the guy. For years they were divorced. And then when he died, she just came in, switched back her name and started handling her daughter's money. <laughs> so the thing about it is, a lot of celebrities and I know this was supposed to be on Stephen Twitch Boss. I'll come back with a reading on him in a second. But let me do this one first. Why has this man put on, <laughs> switched the engine on and left it running? Hold on. <sighs> what was I saying to your family? Yeah. So, people are being moved out of the way for a particular agenda. And I think that's what one of the subbies had mentioned to me weeks ago, actually, in regards to land. Now, what the hell does this have to do with Stephen Twitch Boss? What does it have to do with him? You know, he did make some really cryptic videos before he passed on, passed on, passed away, before he finally crossed over to the ancestors, before he was deleted, even though they said that he unalived himself. But he made some cryptic videos and in those videos, in those videos, he referred to, he referred
So, as much as people talk about the record labels getting rid of facilitating and benefiting from, you know, obviously the deaths of celebrities and the deaths of people like Young Dolph, Lisa Marie Presley, Nipsey Hussle, Tupac Shakur, uh, Notorious B.I.G. And we could just go on and on and on. We could even go as far as we could include people like, um, you know, because of their intellectual property and their, their, their content creation, people like Lenny Bruce even, people like Richard Pryor, who these people are very much introduced to a way of life which is destructive and people can more or less time, you know, how long it's going to take for them to succumb to that lifestyle because the lifestyle is so uh, fast-paced and you need some kind of soothing, you need some kind of um, You need some kind of pacifier to operate within Big Scar. We could talk about Big Scar. He's from Memphis. My wee nephew. From, not my nephew uh, in terms of blood, but in terms of his energy coming to sit and tarry with me. And me connecting with his energy months and months and months ago and we could go on people like fbg duck killed on the gold coast in chicago in broad daylight in, the, in an area like beverly hills and we could keep going on elvis presley fed and plied with pills etc to lull him and weaken him ready for people to attack there are some mem some members of the memphis mafia who were there when he died lisa marie presley did not die of natural causes and so on we could keep going on and all of these people have something in common they were extremely wealthy they were in charge of of legacies of land of property of intellectual property of of assets of money liquid money all had huge ins life insurance policies all were determined and had this kind of you know stay true to yourself stay true to whatever the thing is energy there's a um i'll come back later on okay inshallah blessings this is a bit of a ramble but sometimes you have to pick sense out of nonsense so if you have 10 20 minutes watch this video comment below ashe bless